Yo, what's up guys? How are you? Um, so I wanted to make a really quick video. I promise this video might be pretty short. Um, it's just something really scary, really weird about fighting games that I just kind of realized. Um, so if you are playing fighting games in 2018, 2019-ish, um, you're familiar with the current games that are out now. So Dragon Ball Fighter Z, Street Fighter V, Mortal Kombat 11, Smash Ultimate, and we'll say Tekken 7, I guess. Um, I don't know if I want to include that in that this kind of genre, but we'll say 2D fighters, I guess. Dragon Ball Fighter Z, Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite, um, uh, Mortal Kombat 10, and I'm sorry, Mortal Kombat 11, and Smash Ultimate, um, Street Fighter 5. So those are the examples that I want to use. And if you think about all those games, one of the things that's very common in them, and I was just on this video that I was watching with this uh, Sonic Fox, and he was doing the stuff, and it was on Event Hubs, I saw this article about, oh, you know, Sonic Fox is good with his character, check out this footage. Um, I'm like, okay, let me just watch this, and I'm looking at a comment, and I generally hate Street Fighter V, I'm like, this game sucks, he goes. So I looked at the first comment, and I thought it was a very interesting thing. I'm going to play the part for you, too. So he said, this said, this man said, I'm going to start the game off with a slide. If it don't work, another slide. And if that doesn't work, another one. So we're going to watch the clip. So check out, like, the stupidness of this. So, he, it... So Sonic Fox was able to do three slides and have no repercussion for doing a move. Three times. Not once, not twice, three times. Now, of course, in games like Street Fighter and stuff like that, Mortal Kombat, you throw moves out. Yeah, it can kind of work, but it is very... Things are punishable, too. You know, if you're playing a footsie-based game or you're playing Street Fighter 2 or you're playing even Guilty Gear or Blaze Blue, you know, you do a certain thing a few times, maybe once or twice, people are going to be looking for it more, at least. It, or, you know, there's you think of more ways to stop it. And this person says, I put, I'm like, yeah, this is why this game is stupid. You know, it's kind of like, just kind of go in. And this person responded to me in this way. It was decent response, nothing really wrong with it. Um, he said, you know, I mean, stuff like that happens in all fighting games. So I'm saying you kind of YOLO it and go crazy and go crazy and go crazy. You no know, game is exactly balanced with no luck factor. Even hardcore fighting games like Guilty Gear have this way you can make random situations. Because one of the things is make blah, 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 blah. You got it. Okay. So the thing is, is it, this made me think about other games. And you think about Marvel vs. Capcom, Eminent, Street Fighter V, Dragon Ball Fighter Z, is they're not reactionary fighting games anymore. Um, games really aren't reactionary. They're more um, preemptive based. Um, so Dragon Ball Fighter Z is, is just like kind of, I'm going to throw out this situation, we're going to see what happens, yada yada. Um, Street Fighter V is very much something like that. I'm going to do this situation, you got to guess and hopefully be in a good spot. Um, Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite is kind of like, I'm going to just YOLO, do the special move, put you in a lot of blocks done, and I'm forcing you to just kind of guess. Um, and there's no real neutral. And that's consistent in fighting games now, is there's really no neutral. It's just scramble. Um, and it's in Street Fighter V too. You know, if you think about Street Fighter IV, Marvel vs. Capcom 3, um, you know, Tekken 6, I mean, I don't want to use tech in there. It's Blaze Blue Central Fiction as opposed to Blaze Blue Cross Tag. Fighting games don't really have neutral anymore. Um, it's not about, you know, doing having tools, keeping out, working to get a hit, and then going in to just go in and apply that pressure once you earn that knockdown. It's whenever you can get that opportunity, get in for free, and go to town. So those that element or that depth of fighting games is gone, you know, and the other element of fighting games or the depth, the fun, the exploration of fighting games that is gone is execution. So, you know, Dragon Ball Fighter Z is not really a high execution game. Street Fighter V isn't really a high um, execution game. And Mortal Kombat 11, for the sake of argument, is going to be a target combo based game. So, you know, square, square, triangle, special move, back forward punch or back forward light punch. You know, the execution and the neutral aspect of fighting games is dead. Um, that's kind of scary because it changes how we play them.
It changes our perceptions of what they should be. It changes how we approach them now. It changes how we think as players. Um, any new age player that tries to play Street Fighter 4 gets wrecked because they don't have a sense of neutral. They don't have a sense of that aspect of the game. It's not all auto combos go in, it's neutral. So it's my little quick video. I think it's a sad thing because the, the autopiloting and the mashing and the thing and that stuff is fun and I enjoy it. But there should be a sense of neutral and a, a sense of calm the hell down. Oh, I messed up. I have to stop. And that aspect is in Marvel. You know, neutral exists. So, the end.